Well, howdy folks. Welcome back to the workshop. Welcome back to Whistle Wednesdays. And uh, COVID is not done with me yet, but I am feeling quite a bit better. So I wanted to get out into the workshop and build something. I'm still not like leaving the house, but hey, I don't have to leave the house to build something. So I just am using a couple of things I have on hand today and I'm gonna build a whistle. Now this happens to be a scrap of one inch dowel. I believe this is oak dowel and um, you know, that is what it is. This is a scrap of half inch dowel and I believe this is poplar dowel, but that's all you should need to make a whistle like this. Now, this is one inch, this is a half inch. I don't think those sizes are particularly important. If this was seven eighths and this was three eighths, it would probably work just the same. So the way that this works is we're gonna take our dowel here and we're gonna drill a chamber into the dowel. So basically it, we're gonna make it more or less hollow, not all the way through, but give it a hollow chamber in here. And then we're gonna cut a notch that goes down straight and then up at an angle like that. And that's the basic form that a lot of train whistles and work whistles and things like that use. And from what I've been reading about them, you know, it doesn't really matter the size. You're just gonna get a different tone. It doesn't really matter the angle of the cut. You're just gonna get a different tone, but it should work as long as you have those basic things. Okay, so here is our one inch dowel drilled out with the half inch hole. And here's our half inch dowel. And hopefully this is gonna fit inside. It is, and it's not, actually I hoped it was a little tight. Eh, it's, it's fairly tight. So what I'm gonna do is eventually I'm gonna glue this in here and then file off the top so that we have a nice air passage to blow into. But first we need to cut our notch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to cut a straight line, maybe about, I don't know, half an inch from the end cut a straight line down this way until it hits the chamber and then make an angled line this way coming to meet it. Okay, so now we've basically got everything we need. We've got this one flattened off. We've got this one with the notch cut. And basically what we're gonna do now is you want to put this in and let's see if I can get a close up here. You wanna slide this in right to where it basically lines up with your cut here, right? So you don't want it to be too far out this way. If you can see that, you don't want it to be too far out this way. You don't want it to be too far back this way. You want it to be essentially lined up right at that edge. And then you want the flat edge towards the top so it creates a little air channel. And what you want that air to do is to hit basically right on the edge of this cut. And so that's what you're trying to do is you're just trying to direct the air right there. Now, this is, you know, I haven't glued this in or anything, but if I blow air through this, we should hear a whistle. Okay, so I let it dry for about an hour and this is what we've got. So let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> kind of reminiscent of a train whistle or something like that, but definitely works very, very simple. So now the next step would be to do any sort of finishing on it. And it's a necklace, look at that. 
So these would make great, you know, um, gifts for kids or a little project to do with the kids or whatever. Pretty simple. And again, you can pretty much use any size. You can get a lot fancier with the way you could decorate them, but I do like the way that that stain looks on just the, the plain old oak dowel. So, you know, a lot of different things that you can do with these. By the way, if you haven't noticed, I did create a playlist for Whistle Wednesdays, and I'll put that in the description for you. Thanks for tuning in. Be back next week with another whistle.